Well, good morning all. This morning I wanted to show people how you could uh, make some photo books at, uh, at home. It's really not that difficult to do if you got the right stuff to do it. I use uh, some things that I purchased from Spiral. Uh, I'll leave a description in the link of where you can find these guys. But the basic tools you're going to need is a really good laminator and you'll need this to laminate the covers. Um, it, uh, you heat this up to uh, 140 degrees and you can change the motor in there where you can go through at uh, the setting on three and run it through. I run it through a couple of times just to make sure it's, it's working okay. Uh, Another thing you'll need is a jig and that helps you put the book together and you need a roller which is very cheap. Um, another thing is you need a cutter to cut your book cover because you need to print a book cover to fit those which is I print them out at roughly at, uh, 10 inches by um, 24 inches depending on the size of the book. And these are the covers that are going to be slid into the book to uh, laminate for a cover. These are actually the outside of the the book, um, which you have a tab here that you lift up and you actually slide this picture underneath so you get the right side coming out there and then you would take and run that through the, the laminator and it would laminate that, that book. Um, not too difficult to do. It is a little time consuming, but this is just kind of a hobby, so I just enjoy doing it. And these are called pinch books. And this is actually the insert of the book, which when you put this in, the covers are gonna have a, a nice black cover. And this is just a piece of paper. These are actually glued onto the inside of the book cover. And when this is done, you can actually open the book up and slide your pictures in. It's not too difficult to do, and a little practice. Um, I had a paper cutter that I was using, but it was only went to uh, 18 inches, so I did end up getting the 24 inch cutter to do the book covers, because I like the landscape uh, style. I know if you guys send your books out to be done, and what I find, sometimes it can cost as much as $60 to get them to print them. Well, that's a lot of money for for me anyway so I wanted to come up with a way to do it so I could do my own and get a little enjoyment out of doing it as well um, sometimes I get a little discouraged things don't come out just the way I thought they would but that's all part of the what you're doing <clears throat> another thing that I do is uh, when I make, finish my book and this is one of them here that I have done and uh, you can see that it's got a nice binding on the end there is that it print just on one side of the uh, the photo you can buy photo paper uh, to print on two sides so you can have pictures on every single side going through and I buy this paper by the, the roll a 10 inch roll by I forgot how many feet long it is but it's quite a bit and it's not too expensive <coughs> this other uh, you can see they come out pretty good actually you know and going through um, as I say you could print on this side if you wanted to but I chose not to I did, the reason I chose not to is if somebody wanted to take an individual picture out of the book and frame it they wouldn't have to worry about ruining the picture on the other side so they could just pick what they wanted to do <clears throat> this actually is the, the uh, fall series going through <clears throat> I guess I, I got about 25 you probably could put 30 40 pages in here very easily I like this picture here it's um, down on uh, Main Street and Stern Street it's 
uh, the leaves were just incredible that day on the ground there. Then one of the oldest cemeteries in town. Um, it's beautiful in that spot. The village put up these nice lights. And the village has really come a long ways from what it was. Uh, it's getting back the way it looked like in the 50s and 60s when I grew up here. Mountain scene there. And the reason I did this, in case I wanted to sell books, the only way I could sell them and, and break even was to do my own in order to, because uh, if you had to pay someone to do, pay $30, $40 to do it, and what are you going to, it's impossible to make $10, $15 off the book if you're going to be paying all that cost out there to get them printed for you. And I say it goes through There's a lot of pages in the book. You want to look through, make sure you haven't got anything upside down, which I don't in this one. But but if you do, it's easy to change out because you can just bend this whole book back, and the spine will open up, and it'll allow you to take out any picture that you want to. And they have a nice finish, well glued. I like the fact that I can design any cover I want to put on there. I can even make it so it could print edge to edge if I didn't want any writing in this part here. So, well, there you have it. Another little hobby that I do during my retirement years. If you guys want to uh, say that I don't have any connection with Spyro, but I do, we'll put the link in where I buy it. Uh, I think a case of these books uh, runs about a little over fifty dollars so that's ten dollars a book it includes the uh, as I say the the cover part the spine part and even a bag to put your book in after you're done and uh, ten dollars is to me is a lot cheaper than paying somebody fifty sixty bucks to do it for me well you folks all have a nice day kind of enjoyed this here so my next adventure. See you later.